Hello there and welcome. In this tutorial we're going to look at adding an STL into the XML file. So what we've got here is we've got part of the code and we're looking specifically at the part under the geometry tag. So here we have got our case domain and what we're going to do is we're going to add a new set of XML just into this section here. So this is this part here that's highlighted now. So what we've got on the first line, we've got the MK number of this particular bit of geometry. We've got the draw mode, so this is going to be face. And we've got draw file STL here. And then below this, we have the scale. So this is the scale of our STL in millimeters. Um, so a scale of one is one thousand. Um, so what we're going to look at is we've got our STL that we're looking on inserting here. So we're just going to go to properties. I'm going to copy down the file path for this document. So we just copy that. <coughs> and then we're going to go back to the XML and we're going to paste that just in here. There we go. And then after this, we're going to add a backslash and we're going to put in the file name so that's our case wave tank underscore structure and under object name we're going to write down what we'd like this to appear as in our tree and we're going to call that structure and there we have it that's how we add an STL file into the XML and as you can see at the bottom we've got the closing part here after the uh, scale. After that, we just finish off our tag, so we close that part, and then we reset the, mat the matrix below it, ready to see the next part. Thank you very much for watching. If you've got any further questions, please refer to the Jules Physics Forum or contact us at julesphysics at gmail.com.